In this video, we're going to take a look at what student completion rules are in Schoology and how you can apply them to your folders within Schoology for your students. So student completion rules essentially requires the students to complete the different activities and assessments, discussions that you have created for them inside a folder, and they must meet certain requirements before they can move on to the next activity. So this is something that could be helpful, for instance, if you're going to be absent and you need subplans so that the students can go through all the activities required of them at their own pace and without much help from anybody else. This is also a good option if you want to give students individual assignments and you want to set a particular order for them while one group is working on those particular assignments. You might be doing something else with another group of students. So there's a variety of different uses in this. So this is just a little snapshot of what the capabilities are in student completion rules. You can see here these are a number of different types of assignments, assessments, discussions, and you'll see next to each one what the requirement is that the student must do before they can move on to the next activity. So if it's an assessment you might set a score that they have to get before they can move on to the next one. If it's a discussion, you might ask them to post a comment or a reply before they can move on to the next activity. If you have an assignment, maybe they need to submit something. So we're going to go over this in Schoology so that you can see how some of these features work. So now that you have a bit of understanding as to what student completion rules are all about, we're going to go through how to apply them to um, folder activities that you have created. So you can look over here where I have a folder that says Part 1, Tuck Everlasting Novel Personification. And if I open up this folder, you're going to see a number of different activities that I want the students to complete. However, I want them to complete them in a certain order, and I also want to make sure that they are doing each activity um, and submitting something or commenting on something before they can move on to the next one. So I have already created the activities. This is an assignment. This is a discussion, and this is another assignment. You could also include an assessment in here, whatever types of um, activities, or even if it's a reading passage of some kind or a website, uh, there's a student rule that you, the students just have to view it before they can move on to the next activity. So I'm going to show you how this works. So once you have your folder created and you have your activities already inside it, what you're going to do is click on the wheel next to the folder and you're going to come down to the option that says student completion. So when you click on student completion, you're going to get a number of different options. So you can see here, I can decide whether I want the requirements to be completed in sequential order, which I do. It's also helpful, by the way, if you saw on my folder, um, I already kind of put the activities in the sequence that I wanted them to complete this in. This just makes it a little bit easier for you as well as for them. And now I'm going to start adding requirements for each activity. So I'm going to click on Add Requirement, and when in this drop down, you're going to see all the activities that I have available in that folder. So if I want them to do this reading passage first, I'm going to click on this. This is an assignment, so they do have to actually do something. And down here, it says mem Member Must. So this drop down is going to change depending on the type of activity. So I'm going to click Make a Submission. Next one, I'm going to add another requirement. And now I'm going to select the discussion. So this is a discussion activity. Now you can see in this drop down is going to be a little different than the first one. Because this is a, is a discussion, the options are different. So do I want them to just view it, score? I'm just going to have them required to either comment or reply. And then when I'm going to come down over here, I'm going to select my last one. This one is also an assignment and I'm going to ask them to make a submission. So these are the three activities that are in here. I like the way I have this set up, so I'm going to hit Save Changes. In the next video, I'm going to show you what this is going to look like once a student has gone into this so that you can see what the progress looks like and that you'll also be able to see it from a student perspective to get an idea of how this will actually work in the classroom.